Hello, and welcome back to Dr. Carey's Clinical Corner. Today I want to talk about lightning crotch, or in more formal terms, it's called pubic symphysis dysfunction. So this mainly happens in pregnancy. So here's your pelvis, and it's when you have pain here on the pubic bone. And what's happening during pregnancy, the hormones are making your pelvis relax and the ligaments all throughout your body, not just the pelvis, but the ligaments are less strong and stable. They're a little more lax. Um, so this is called your pubic symphysis. So it's sort of like uh, the connection between the two halves of the pelvis, but this is a pretty thick ligament and normally it's pretty strong and stable. But again, with the pregnancy hormones, everything's a little less stable. So this can slip up and down or forward and back, or it's just not like so symmetrical. And that can cause pain here. So a lot of times this will go away as soon as pre the pregnancy is over, as soon as baby is delivered. Um, and it generally doesn't happen in other times in life. But what you can do about it, so for some people, um, there are some support belts that they need, like a, I call it an SI belt, like a Sorolla SI belt that will kind of help keep things together, or a pregnancy hip belt or belly support can help. Um, I have people do a lot of inner thigh strengthening to kind of help strengthen the muscles that attach here. And then also I have people avoid certain exercises. So avoid single leg exercises, avoid wide leg exercises, avoid asymmetrical things like lunges. Um, so sometimes we have to modify your workouts. And if it's really severe, you know, maybe getting in and out of the car instead of just like bringing one leg out and getting up, it's sort of like you got to be like a grandma and put one leg and then the other leg and then stand up. Same thing, getting in the car, one leg, other leg, then stand up. Um, also getting in and out of bed is another common one. Um, so if you have this, it's usually temporary. Um, I'll connect some videos below of some exercises, but yeah, think about trying to keep your legs together more, not opening them wide. And again, think about movements like getting in and out of the car, getting in and out of bed, um, and then really strengthen the inner thighs, get a support belt, you know, around your hips that will kind of help keep all this together if you need to. Um, and then, yeah, you might have to modify your exercises. So normally in life, we want to do a lot of single leg exercises. It's great. It kind of like helps us not be able to hide any asymmetries, but here your your body has an asymmetry um, in the pelvis itself. And so, yeah, physical therapy can also help um, give you guidance. We can work on the muscles too to kind of help them be more symmetrical and then give you exercises to strengthen. Um, so it, it's very rare to have this outside of pregnancy. Often as soon as the pregnancy is over, it resolves on its own. Um, yeah, but there is help.